I've always wanted a custom Z just to experience it, just to, you know, with a lot of these things, live out my silly childhood as an adult. I know from speaking to other people uh, who are around my age, which is now far too near to 50, um, that this line of drums, the Pearl Custom Z line of drums, kind of had the same effect on them that it did on me. And that was kind of um, just sort of fascination and excitement and, wow, that's really cool. Um, and it particularly for me, and I think probably again for the people that I've spoken to, uh, it was the ad that Paul had out at the time when they bought these drums out and it may have been a two-page ad and if I can find it, I think, I think I've seen it online so I'll stick it on the screen so you get an idea but it was the um, kind of very 80s obligatory double bass uh, probably like a nine-piece kit, power toms uh, and it, it, was, it was a big silly kit but it, it's, there was something about that ad that really took me uh in and and, and i i kind of always wanted to uh, at least get a snare drum from that uh, that line of drums just to, to experience them firsthand well, there was a shop in london in the late 80s and early 90s uh when i was growing up uh called john shearer's talking drums and john shearer i'm sure was a pearl artist at some point uh and he was also the drummer of the band hurricane uh, at some point um and I'm pretty sure that his store had um, one of these double bass kits in, maybe not in the same configuration as in the ad, but uh, I'm pretty sure they had one of those kits in. And I'm pretty sure, actually, I mean, I know I actually went to see him do an in-store demo of, uh, of some drums, and it may well have actually been these drums. But um, the Custom Z line only came in one finish, and that was this sort of champagne bird's eye maple. Uh, there you go, so you can get an idea of that. So that was literally like the one finish um, that they, they did, and, and, a, and a damn fine finish it is too. But um, I, I can't remember the exact specs off the top of my head, so I will put them up on the screen. I am sure, though, this is like um, a, a 10 mil shell, and it might be like nine plies or something like that. But, uh, I mean, you can see from that that it's a, it's a pretty, just obviously the snare drum, is pretty uh, a pretty chunky shell. And uh, I think the, the toms and kick drum were probably about the same as well from what I recall reading uh, a few weeks ago when I picked this up. Um, I, I got it off of eBay. Um, it, it was one of those things that uh, I came across it, and as I've mentioned this in the Club Custom Kit video, uh, I happened to actually be up in the early hours of the morning, and uh, I was just idly looking through eBay, because I was just bored out of my mind, and um, and I, I came across this, and as I said, I've, I've always wanted a Custom Z, just to experience it, just to, you know, with a lot of these things, live out my silly childhood as an adult, and, um, it was one of those things, it, it, had, it had a bite now on it, and it also had a make offer. Now, um, as I think I've touched upon in my uh, sort of selling, uh, sorry, buying tips ideas video, um, if someone's got uh, a buy it now uh, option, then obviously you can buy it now. If they've also got a make offer option, then they are actually willing to entertain offers. And it might seem silly, but it's probably something that does get overlooked. So the thing is, is um, when someone does have a make offer, I generally will go in and make an offer. And if it's too low, then maybe you can go in and barter with them. And in this particular instance, uh, I went to make an offer of what I thought was maybe a little, you know, reasonable. It wasn't that far off what I was asking anyway, but. Um, uh, it came up uh, that you know the box came up to put in my offer and, and it said two offers pending already. I'm like, oh, fantastic! So I can either suck it up or I can try and put in what it might be considered a more reasonable offer. And I decided to go with the former uh, because I did really want the snare drum and I figured, what the hell, um, you know, it, it's it's a matter of a couple of extra quid more than ideally I would have liked to have paid and get the drum. Uh, or lose out so I wasn't really prepared to lose out 
and uh, it eventually turned up and it uh, came from a very nice man in Scotland. Uh, I mean, given that this drum is 30 odd years old, it, I mean, there's the odd little nick in it, which even if I think I put the camera on it, you probably wouldn't be able to see. Um, they're just, you know, the old tiny dent, like there's, there's a very tiny dent there, which as I said, you, you wouldn't see in this, unless the light's on it or you're running your finger on it. Um, you know, the couple of little, I mean, it, for, for 30 years old, the odd, the odd little bit of co cosmetic issue uh, with something like this is, is, is very, very excusable. Um, I mean, all the, the, the lugs are great, the rods are great, you know, nothing's rusty. Uh, I mean, the hoops have got a little bit of a, uh, yeah, I mean, again, they're, they're a little bit sort of rough in places, but the die cast hoops are in great condition. Um, I think probably the only thing that's not original is the uh, is the wires on the bottom there, which uh, are the, you know the ones that Pearl still sells. Um, but uh, but you know, but all in all, though, it's it's in great condition. It's got the, the you know what you you know you probably will have seen the the Pearl bridge lugs, one piece bridge lugs. I think they look fine. Um, you know, slightly older, uh, you know, less glamorous um, mechanism again, on and off, very, very uh, sort of 80s and 90s, <laughs> and now still, I suppose, in some instances. But um, but all in all, though, it, it's 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 in great shape. Uh, I took it out and played it uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago now, uh, and it sounded fantastic in my ears. Um, a lovely sort of high pitch sort of crack to it. Um, I don't, I, I mean at the moment, uh, what I'm gonna do, I've got a, an Evans uh, Genera on here at the moment, which is kind of like the Verimo guys, uh, probably like a PS3 uh, or maybe a PS4. I can't remember the actual specifics of the, of, of the thickness of the, the actual head, but uh, it's it's pretty damp, as you might be able to just see there's a ring there. I mean, I actually quite like the Genera head, uh, but in certain uh, certain situations, and for me, I think maybe the Genera head is probably a little bit better uh, on a drum that I'm, I'm not gonna really sort of maybe do some, some ghost notes on and stuff. It's just a little bit too, a little bit too thick and maybe a little bit too sort of boxy sounding and feeling to me. Um, it's a good head, but it just for me on certain drums, it, it's not really what I want. But I mean, on the bottom, there's a Hazy 3, 300. Um, I mean, just to go over the, the finish again, as I said, it is, it is this sort of champagne bird's eye maple uh finish and 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 it's it, it is really lovely and, and and like i said it's just it they, they only they only did the one finish and uh it, you know it was a good finish you know and the you know the badge the the badge is pretty cool too um odd thing with the uh I, well i suppose maybe not odd thing but uh i i suppose uh in many ways the choices that you had the options that you have for the snare drum in the custom z line uh was was quite possibly very um evident of the market that pearl was going for at the time because you could only get it uh certainly uh, the catalog that i looked at anyway you could only get it in six and a half or eight so uh you know proper metal sort of rock sizes um there was no no option for for the smaller snare drum and uh like i said if if you look at the ad uh and if you look certainly in the in the catalog as well all power sizes you know really sort of big manly sized drums and um you know it's it's the same i probably won't uh i you know what actually what i did notice from doing some research on this particular drum was that custom z kits are still taking in a bit of money uh, they're not cheap to buy uh, I mean, I, I won't say I actively go looking for them either, but um, I mean, this was the only custom Z snare drum I've seen for sale. Um, and I don't think really the kits, the, the, the kits don't seem to come up very often uh, from what I've seen. Could be wrong. Uh, you know, uh, I've got a, a, a snare drum set down there, which is the uh, Jeff Ockle Tree uh, Tree Bronze. Uh, 14 by 8 uh, which I will do a video on but uh, you know the tree bronze line and in fact like the Peisty 2002 line everyone says they're very very rare um, since uh, we're now in November 
of 2019 and since May of 2019 I've seen uh, I've seen four Paiste 14x5 snare drums advertised I bought one of them I bought the first one uh, and I've seen a six and a half advertised and I've also seen with the tree bronze which are I think it's safe to say a lot more rare in terms of obviously there weren't so many made um, I've seen, uh, I, I, there was three that came up at the same time when I bought that one and I've subsequently seen another one in the last week uh, come up for sale. So you know what, rare. What does rare really mean these days? I don't know. But it's, um, like I said anyway, like, I, I do casually sort of look out for stuff like this and uh, I haven't really seen it. I, over in, I've been talking in, in the UK obviously at the moment. I mean, these might be 10 a penny in the States, I don't know. Anyway, enough of me uh, waffling on. This is what it sounds like. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.